The Burke's Gold Exchange was established based upon our customer request. The Burke's uh, sets itself apart from the competition because of its uh, being established in, in 1879, because of the fact that we have a long-standing uh, tradition of, of, of uh, trust and integrity. And we also believe that we give the best return on, on uh, our customers' possessions. Burke's has an infrastructure in place. It has a receiving department that's established to support retail. We have a manufacturing operation. We have a gold processing facility. All of these things support our retail operations uh, in making and supplying jewelry to our stores. The way our process works is that a customer can go online, berksgoldexchange.com, uh, and they can request a kit. Uh, all they do is enter in a few uh, data points, such as their, their name, their address, uh, and we will uh, speed out a, a kit to them. And once they receive the kit, they activate the kit online, and they put their belongings in it and ship it to us. Uh, within a few days, they'll get a response as to what the return will be. They have the option at that point in time to accept it. Uh, and if they accept it, uh, we will hold their goods for a period of time, and, but immediately send them out a check. If an item is 20 years old uh, and gold was uh, uh, you know, at, at below uh, you know, three, dollars $400 at that point in time, uh, clearly uh, at a $1,200 gold market, the, the value could be far greater than what it was purchased at 20 years ago. Their valuables, uh, broken pieces of jewelry in their box, uh, things that are out of style, maybe they were purchased four or five years ago when gold was trading at three, dollars $400 per ounce. Those possessions are now worth more than ever, and I would argue that uh, the, the melt value, the recovery value, might even be greater than the acquisition value of seven or eight years ago. So uh, what we consider as broken pieces, unwanted pieces, could be of great value to our customers. I would not go with a company that has just been established. I would go with a company that you know, a co company that you trust, and I would transact with that accordingly. As a jeweler, uh, what we do is we actually review the piece when it comes in. And this is where I think we're very differentiated from an actual gold buying agency. A gold buying company would just take the goods, they would weigh it, calculate what the room term would be and cash a check. But as, as jewelers, we actually evaluate the piece. And there have been many instances since we started businesses in November whereby we would tell the consumer, you know what, what you're going to get for this in, in gold value is less than what the, the value of this piece is because it's a designer piece or it has some intrinsic value to it that gives it a far greater value than what the gold value is.